Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, July 18th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whatever this reading resonates with you. And if this reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Now, my readings are geared around love situations. They're not geared around um, money. So we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is somebody or an energy that gives you um, the moral backbone to set your goal, to um, start a project or begin a task and stick to it. Okay, this guy, he, he sets the goal and he sticks to it, okay? Oh. This is a card of integrity, doing the right thing. Focus and concentration. This could be an offer of something solid, an offer of something stable. It can also be an apology. It doesn't have to be. It can be anything. It's genuine. Whatever it is, it's genuine. We're missing a piece. We're missing a piece here. Something is missing. One piece is missing. Happiness. Happiness. The missing piece. Happily ever after. somebody is that is watching this is is doing quite well focused on themselves focused on their independence um, or if it's not focused on your independence focused on your own abundance your inner abundance I'm working on me I'm working on excelling I'm working on doing whatever I need to do to feel whole But bored with it. I'm getting bored with it. I am. I'm getting bored with this loneliness. I'm getting bored with uh, being on my own. Even though I'm doing good, I'm doing good. It, it, it gets a little uh, lonely at times. And I feel as though, you know, the page is also a message. You could be receiving a message from somebody. that is really genuine and heartfelt and it helps you to move forward make progress somebody has been holding on to something for quite some time that and it's getting old it's like it's it's reached a period of near death 
but you just can't let it die. You can't let it go. And it's caused a lot of discontent. And now it, it feels as though perhaps today or yesterday or tomorrow there is a, a feeling of, you know what, I can't or I'm not going to allow this to bring me backwards. Somebody has been staying stuck, trying to control, trying to hold on to like some old way. Because the death card is reversed, is unable to release, unable to let go, holding on to something that has no growth left, but still holding on. Now, it could be a relationship. I'm not sure. But it's caused a lot of um, discontent, and somebody's getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. Why am I holding on to this? Now, I have to throw out that both the Death card and the Chariot card are transformation cards. They're both transformation cards. One is reversed and one is upright. As soon as you let go, as soon as you let go, Things will move forward in a better direction, but you have to let go first. You have to let go. That's all there is to it. You have to master your emotions. You have to replace fear with faith and let the dead die. Whatever the dead is in your life, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about dead ends. Stuff that has no more growth. Holding on to it is pausing your success. It's pausing your new chapter. It's pausing your good fortune. Your, it is. The Wheel of Fortune is upright. It's good luck. It's good fortune. Reverse. It's like, I'm not ready for it. I'd, I'd rather suffer. I like this bad luck. You do? Really? Somebody is trying to control their destiny, control their fate by holding on to a dead end situation. When all they have to do is release it and things will change like almost instantly, quickly, quickly. Let go of what doesn't serve you, what you, whatever is causing this discontent, sadness, and sorrow. Let go of it. Enjoy your independence. Enjoy what you have. Be grateful for what you are, who you are, what you learned, what you have. And realize that you are, are really all that you need. And I know that a lot of you can't see that. Because remember we had this missing piece. When you get to this point of realizing that you are everything that you need. You are loving who you are. Even being single or on your own. Whatever. When you get to this point of abundance inner abundance, which allows outer abundance, that's when you'll find happiness. <laughs> Somebody is going through some sort of midlife crisis feeling, you know what, I, I, I can't, I can't open my eyes. I can't, I can't wake up. I need to hold on to what is safe. But it's only holding you back. Holding on to what you know, fear of change, is only bringing you backwards. There's an opportunity for a union 
if somebody could stop holding on to something that or trying to control destiny, trying to control fate. And some of you won't want won't like this at all. Because you're trying to hold on to something that you aren't getting anything in return. Okay? You're trying to hold on to something, thinking some fantasy. And now I know a lot of you aren't going to like this. That this person that has run away is going to come back. That is a fantasy. It's time for you to find your mental strength and move forward. Master your emotions. Be grateful for who you are. Treat yourself with kindness. Treat yourself with respect. You deserve to be loved. You deserve happiness. Somebody is holding on to something that has no more life. And it's time to be practical. It's time to be responsible. It's time to be wise. You need to be strong. You need to take the lead. And you need to end that unhappiness by letting go. Move on. It's time to do the right thing and stick to it. You could be receiving a message from somebody in regards to a relationship. Let's get a clarifier on that. I wonder if this is somebody new. Somebody keeps going backwards by hanging on to a relationship that has no growth. It's seriously trying to control destiny. Seriously, going backwards, hanging on to something that has no growth, trying to control destiny in a relationship. Come on now. That's not true. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not seeing things clearly. Stop. Stop hanging on to the person that has left You want to be lonely forever? You want to grow old alone? Somebody's not seeing things clearly. This person left you out in the cold? They did? It's time to move on. You deserve love. There's an, a new opportunity for love if you could only see it and stop focusing on this dead end. Thinking that it's going to come back around. Believing some fantasy that somebody came up with because they had a broken heart.
there's another opportunity for love waiting for you if you could focus on the future and let go of the past. Do you want to grow old alone waiting for somebody who isn't coming back? I'm going to talk about that theory. Somebody with a broken heart came up with it. The next broken heart fed on. Then the then it started making money. So it really grew. There's a new opportunity for love if you could wake up. But somebody's refusing to wake up. You have to master your emotions and move on from this dead end situation. There's a new opportunity for love. There is. With somebody that is stable. Somebody that does want to commit. The actual, true missing piece. Whatever you're holding on to, look this card up, is unrealistic. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of the person that is not coming back. And I know that's a strong message. And I know somebody has told you and you have investigated and you believe that you should wait the rest of your life until death for this person. Whoever came up with that philosophy... was a hurt, hurt, hurt individual. And apparently whoever's holding on is pretty hurt, hurt themselves. So, you know, and I know that we, I mean, a lot of people want to believe. That, I mean, they want to believe. We do have soulmates. We do. Many, many soulmates. They come and they go. Some stay forever, some don't. But if somebody has walked out of your life, you should not be wasting away waiting for them to come back, living some fantasy that some broken heart came up with. You deserve to be loved. It's time to start accepting the truth and stop going backwards. You have another opportunity for love if you could only see it. So I feel like today is a day of potentially moving on. Move on. You deserve love. Be practical. I don't know who this is for. Somebody needed to hear this message. I don't know who. But living in denial is breaking your heart. It's causing loneliness. It's causing discontent. And it's not fair. It's not fair to you. Misery loves company. Remember that. When we have a broken heart, what do we do? We beg for attention. We beg for healing. We grasp. Grasp for answers. Try to figure this out. 
That's what happened. That's what happened when this philosophy, this, it ain't a philosophy, it's a fantasy, came up. Some broken heart grasping for why, how, whatever came up with it. Stop. Stop. You do have a soulmate. You do have a soulmate. Another one. But you gotta let go of the fantasy. 